Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you one more topic that you will find it useful when you are working with data model or you have a need to create a new table from existing table but with only distinct values. So what does that mean? That means if let's say you have uh, thousands of values and you just want to have one table where only the distinct values are present let's say for any modeling reason or for a custom processing then how you can create that table um, for your scenario and before i show that just a quick information that this sheet which is a live google sheet the link for this sheet is present in the description that means you can come to this sheet view any of my previous 177 videos search it easily and jump to that video using the link present in the column b so this is for you so that you are searching or the topic that you are looking for you can find it easily also uh, some or many people what they have done is they have created their own custom list from this and uh, kept it as bookmark so that all that's also something you can do so make sure you bookmark this and since it is a live sheet all of my future videos will also be present here so uh, like for example these two peoples are over here and uh, viewing this videos uh, based on what I have posted in the past but all of my future videos they will be able to see since it is a live sheet so that's a benefit you get with the Google sheet okay so with that let me go to the power bi okay in the power bi we have a we have this table orders and in orders you have thousands of product name right or you have thousands of sub i mean multiple times but in unique way you have 10 to 15 subcategories right for example if i create a table here you will see that you only have few subcategories like these one but this is in the front end or visualization but if you want to take this table back here in the in this table section or here in this modeling section for your own processing then how you can do that is something i want to tell you so for that i'll come over here in the data section and here in this data section where are you uh home and in the home i will click on new table and uh, we will say distinct sub category let's say this is the table we want to create and we will going to use simply the distinct function and over here we will going to provide the order subcategory that is all you need to do if you are trying to figure out if you have to do a huge processing no this is a very simple processing you need to do to create a table now the best part is this if tomorrow the data is updated with any new table or or any new value sorry uh, then that value will also appear over here you don't have to do anything that's the magic of calculated tables right so that way you can create the uh, the table and then you can use it these distinct subcategories in your data model let's say you want to do some processing some modeling then you can do it very easily so that's something i wanted to show you in this video as to how you can create or how you can achieve this scenario so that's pretty much it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic